The New York Times reported yesterday that, that you and other top officials wanted to recommend social and physical distancing guidelines to President Trump as far back as the third week of February, uh, but the uh, administration didn't announce such guidelines to the American public until March 16th, almost a month later. Why? You know, Jake, as I've said many times, we look at it from a pure health standpoint. We make a recommendation. Often the recommendation is taken. Sometimes it's not. But we, it is what it is. We are where we are right now. Do you think lives could have been saved uh, if social distancing, physical distancing, stay-at-home measures had started third week of February instead of mid-March? You know, Jake, again, it's the what would have, what could have. It's very difficult to go back and say that. I mean, obviously, you could logically say that if you had a process that was ongoing and you started mitigation earlier, you could have saved lives. Obviously, no one is going to deny that. But what goes into those kinds of decisions is, is complicated. But you're right. I mean, obviously, if we had right from the very beginning shut everything down it may have been a little bit different but there was a lot of pushback about shutting things down back then do you think it will be safe in november for voters to physically go to vote at the polls <clears throat> i hope so jake i i can't guarantee it i believe that if we have a good measured way of rolling into this steps towards normality that we hope by the time we get to November that we'll be able to do it in a way which is the standard way. However, and I don't want to be the pessimistic person, there is always a possibility as that as we get into next fall and the beginning of early winter that we could see a rebound. And hopefully, hopefully, what we've gone through now and the capability that we have for much, much better testing capability, much, much better serious surveillance capability, and the ability to respond with countermeasures, with drugs that work, that it will be an entirely different ball game. So number one, I hope we don't have a rebound that would make this very difficult as we get into November. But if we do, and there certainly is a possibility, I'm a realist, it certainly is a possibility, hopefully we'll be able to respond to that rebound in a much more effective way than what we've seen now in January, February, March. You're a man of medicine, a man of science, but today's Easter Sunday, and I know that your Catholic faith, faith and your Jesuit education played an important role in your upbringing and how you, you look at the task in front of you today. On this holy day of Easter, what role does faith play in this immense task you have before you? You know, I think faith means different things to different people. People with a strong foundation in faith, I think is very, very important when you go through serious, really terrible idea, uh, or, ordeals, excuse me, that the country is, is going through. I think faith, you know, helps people through this. You know, I, I just know my, my father, who was a man of, of, of deep, deep faith, and when there were times in his life and, and, and in the life of the country where he needed solace, I mean, his faith was just extraordinary. I was always in awe of him. And I think that there are many, many people that way. So faith is a good thing. Science, you have to do what science is, but the, the, the faith in, in how you deal with stress. I know we're going through a historic ordeal right now. This, this is people are going to write about this as a terrible affront on, on us as a nation to our health and to our well-being. It's, it's tough, and faith would take an, an important role. All right, well, on this Easter Sunday, God bless you, Dr. Fauci. We appreciate your leadership, and we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. You, you too, Jake, and the best to you and your family. Gonna...